Hello, I'm Jonathan Womack, and welcome to this edition of Community Insider. We bring you to Chestnut Oaks Farm and Kitchen, a great restaurant out here in Burgess Falls in beautiful White County, Tennessee. That and much more coming up on this edition of Community Insider. So, Tim's great grandfather, George Washington Dunn, that did the pieces of pottery that are up there, is um, this is his picture right here. George Washington Dunn, and this is a piece of pottery that he made that is in the museum in Nashville. Grace Family Pharmacy announces new medication packaging service. It provides a simpler, safer medication experience through convenient, personalized packaging using the latest in pharmacy robotics. We're located at 357 West Main Street. Our phone number is 931-473-6418. Douglas and Lanier, that's where I choose to be, Douglas and Lanier, that's the agency for me. For rock solid insurance coverage or sound financial planning for my family's future, Douglas and Lanier is where I choose to call home. Security Federal Savings Bank is always pleased to provide virtually every banking service you could ever need. But more than that, we are proud to offer a relationship with you, your family, or your company. We've been here supplying just what you need and building a trust, a relationship. And that's something hard to find these days. Our bankers are here for you, here to help. If you are interested in a relationship, come to the friendliest bank in town. Security Federal Savings Bank, member FDIC. The My Usage app is a way to conveniently pay online, anytime, day or night. You can also come by any Caney Fork Electric office and sign up for the prepay option available using the My Usage app. Know exactly how much electricity is used each day and the cost. Best of all, no monthly bill. You can set up email or text alerts. Keep track of your usage and pay your bill. All with the My Usage app from Caney Fork. Caney Fork Electric, keeping you informed. Welcome to another edition of Community Insider. Join us as we travel Middle Tennessee, uncovering history and experiencing the adventure of unique stories and events coming to you inside your community. Hello, I'm Jonathan Womack. Welcome to this edition of Community Insider. We have Miss Laurel Dunn who is the owner and operator of Chestnut Oaks. Let me begin by this. Introduce yourself and how long you've been doing it. You've got a beautiful place here. Thank you. It is uh, not only a great restaurant, but it's a place for you to come and find some unique crafts, and, crafts and antiques mm -hmm. and stuff like yeah. that. Tell me about the place. Okay. So we opened, it'd be two years, Memorial Day weekend. Um, but we, the original vision was to do a store. We raised beef cattle and we wanted to sell our beef and some local eggs and produce and, you know, just like a little country farm store but we're right by Burgess Falls State Park so we thought well we'll do some sandwiches and ice cream um, but we were really thinking cold cut sandwiches you know just like a little sack lunch but we're trying to sell our beef so you know let's do hamburgers so we started with um, four things on the menu hamburger patty melt hot dog or brat and grilled cheese and we were absolutely slammed so um, about 75 to 80 percent of our business was the kitchen so we we didn't have a dining room. We only had two tables downstairs and then we had the seating up here in the loft. Um, 
So about, we'd been open six or seven weeks and we decided to build a dining room. So we had another barn that was out back that was leaning real bad and we decided to tear it down and use that lumber and metal to make the dining room. So then it matched and it looks like it, you know, goes together. So we started tearing that down, that barn down in July, like I said, about six or seven weeks in, and we had it completely ready and open on October 1st of 2022. And, um, you know, the menu has just grown ever since. Yeah, so. And we were seeing some of the food. You guys have some delicious looking food. Thank we're gonna you. try it later, but uh, you, you got anything from, uh, we smoke our we smoke brisket, oh, really? pulled pork. Um, we do our burgers. This beef we raise right here on the farm. We cook that on a smoker grill, so they're smoked burgers. A little bit unique there. Um, we do uh, chicken on the smoker grill. Um, we do fried bologna sandwiches. Not a lot of places you can you know still get a fried bologna. That's right. Um, so yeah, we've got several different sandwiches and um, baked beans. Our baked beans are great. We also smoke them. Wow. Put a little bit of our pulled pork in there and smoke them so this is a family effort tell yes. me tell me how this uh, in many different ways including that the train display is is really a part of the family explain some yeah that. so first of all the barn was built in 1949 and the whole thing began with my husband uh, his two uncles his brother and his cousin doing all the work on the barn so they completely restored the barn by um, putting the um, roofing paper on the outside and then spray foam insulation over that and then new metal. So all of this interior is the original wood. Um, so it started as a family effort, you know, with them doing the barn. And then um, my stepdad passed away in on Christmas Eve of 21, just before the store opened, but we had started working on it. And he and my mom had worked on a train village for like 15 years. And it had spanned the full width of their loft and um, so after he passed away, she moved here to Sparta and she has put some of it up here on display. So she had it, at least part of it ready for Christmas, the year that we opened in 2022. And then she added a little bit um, last year and then for, for Christmas. And then, you know, she'll be adding pieces and uh, doing a little bit more each year as we go along. I got you. And, uh, and so when we first come in, I, I noticed you have like you said, crafts, antiques, mm -hmm. unique books that uh, people can... Local authors. Lo mm -hmm. they're, they're all local yep. authors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Explain to me how you got started with that part. So I had some friends that did some crafts, you know, that did the little craft shows and stuff. And um, probably one of the first things was the soaps because, again, the intention was to be like um, a small country store. And, um, you know, the handmade soaps are, are real popular. And uh, we had a friend that did that, Miss Sandy Gilbert, and um, from there had another friend, Miss Vicki Sipcar, that does the felted wool animals, and she does an amazing job of them. Um, and then it just, we just added, you know, just friends that had things to sell, and we thought, well, yeah, we'll, we'll try that and put that in there, and it just grew from there. That's but awesome. Um, it gives them a place to where they can sell their products and not have to set up and tear down at a craft right, store, a right. uh, craft show. Very unique. Um, now, let's talk about how people can see more about this. I know you got a website. Mm -hmm. um, what's the website, and, and what are some other ways that they can see what you've got? It's Chestnut Oaks Farms. Uh, dot com and um, we've got um, so we'll be doing some brochures you know this year to show a few of the pictures and stuff um, you can also email us at chestnutoaksfarms at gmail dot com um, and then you know come see the park and and come on up and eat yeah it's just right up the road literally from the park so yeah it's right up the road from the park distance. it is yeah so we get a lot of people that like to park here they'll walk down to the falls and then they'll walk back and come in and eat yeah, yeah. but um, Burgess Falls State Park is doing a new visitor center okay. this year so and I, I believe that they're going to be expanding and adding trails too so that's, that's awesome. that'll be nice that's awesome well listen thank you for your time uh, 
this is just beautiful here for anybody that yeah. likes to get off the beaten path and, and find a great restaurant. Let's talk about the times if, if people that's even local wants to come by and eat. What's the times of your restaurant? So we're open Monday through Saturday. The only day we're closed is Sunday. Uh, we're open 11 a.m. every day and we close at 7 p.m. every night except for Friday night we stay open until 8. Okay. And I wanted to also mention yes. that we do a cruise in the first Saturday of every month. Oh wow. Every, yeah. every first Saturday. Every first Saturday starting in April. You know the weather was still pretty cold in January, February, March but um, this month next Saturday will be our first cruise in and we've got a schedule all the way through December. Oh, wow that's awesome. So that's yeah awesome. the first one that we had uh, Memorial Day weekend last year we had like 80 cars. That's awesome. So that's and we've also had the Smoky Mountain Model A Club here too. Wow. So we got we get a lot of special little groups that yeah. come in. So that's fun to go cool. see those cars. So the Dunn family was very well known for making baskets and so you can see four of those baskets not the apple picking basket but the four baskets there and then some baskets over here was actually made by Reed Dunn and some of his family the the Dunn family. Um, we also have a couple of pieces of pottery that was made by George Washington Dunn which was my husband Tim's great-grandfather but he actually is in the um, museum in Nashville for his pottery. He made a lot of the pottery. So these two pieces right here are over 100 years old. So a very talented artistic family. Tell me about the band. The bear was just uh, given to us by a friend and um, you know he's our security guard so he keeps an eye, keeps an eye on things for us. So Tim's great-grandfather George Washington Dunn that did the pieces of pottery that are up there is um, this is his picture right here George Washington Dunn and this is a piece of pottery that he made that is in the museum in Nashville. Y'all done a great job. It's a beautiful place. Make sure you come out bring your family. It is family oriented and uh, this is a great place to come grab you a bite that homemade ice cream or uh, whatever you may be desiring. A um, little bit more that's on the menu for those as we close the show. Well you mentioned this, the local ice cream so that is Sunrise Dairy Ice Cream. It's made in Crossville, Tennessee. Awesome. Awesome. We also carry their milk and butter. Wow. We've got cheese from local dairy Sweetwater Valley cheese, Sweetwater Valley Dairy. Um, of course you can still buy our beef that's in the freezer. Um, you know, we've got all kinds of things we can make with the ice cream. We do warm brownie sundaes, um, hot fudge cake, strawberry shortcake, our famous cow patties yeah, um, and hay bales. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Sell a lot of cow patties. <laughs> well, as we say always, we hope to see you inside your community.